Hey everyone, it's Wingspan TT, and if you're watching, you know what time it is. It's time for more Mass Effect 3 single-player demo footage. Now we're jumping right back in here, and um, you know what? So I guess for the demo, they didn't just want to play through. They didn't want you to see the whole beginning of it. You know, you just wanted to jump around a little bit. And I guess here we're going to the Salarian homeworld. We had to grab the females and leave. I, so I don't, I don't, I don't know. We're grabbing Salarian females. We're gonna. Why, why are we grabbing them? Did they give us permission to grab them, or are we gonna be grabbing the females first, and then grabbing like a lawsuit later? Here comes Liara with her boob suit. I don't even know what else to call this. Um, but we have Rex, Li Liara, I guess Caden is still alive. Garrus the man, looking a little better. He decided to fix up his armor after Mass Effect 2. I guess he's had enough time to uh, go armor shopping, go to the Gap, pick up a nice set of blue armor. Where's the Joker? I want the Joker. I want I want someone there telling us, like, Commander, I have brittle bones, and you're all too serious. Um, here we go. The, the Salarian homeworld is... Ancient Maya. That's it. That's they're the Mayans. There you go. They predicted the end of our planet, and they were wrong because they're stupid newts. They don't want us to land. Yeah, yeah. Of course not, because we're racist. You guys ever think about how, like, in real life, you're not allowed to like be like, okay, pe this race of people, this group of people, they're all like this, blah blah blah. But as soon as you get into a game. They're Solarians. Oh, Solarians are all like this. Orcs are all like this. Elves are all like this. Totally cool. You can discriminate the fuck out of people in a video game. Yep. Yep. And I love how we're in the future, 200 years in the future, and they still have highly visible laser scopes as the sighting methods for their rifles. Like, hold on. Hold on. We need to let these people know that we're aiming a rifle at their head. Let me just attach a laser to it. Yeah, yeah, you fucking diplomats. Yeah, no. I love, though, how we're not technically allowed to land here, right? And the only thing that Solarian technology does is they come out and sh point sniper rifles at you. They don't have some mass effect field that pushes our ship away, or, I don't know, missiles to shoot us out of the sky, or pretty much anything other than, well, this ship isn't supposed to be landing here. I guess we'll let them land and then talk to them while point sniper rifles at them. Yeah, goodbye, Rex. We'll see you later. You're not coming with us. Alright, let's see here. Alright, 12,000 experience? Holy shit! How do I get 12,000 experience in the real game? I mean, I don't actually know that that's a lot. For all I know, you know, you need... Oh, it appears like it's a lot because I'm now level 12. Wait, does that mean that there's 1,000 experience points per level? And if you get 100 experience, picking up band-aids. That means I just gotta pick up 10 band-aids to get a power-up. I love it. I can just go to CVS, pick up a 10-pack of band-aids, BAM! Level 2. Buy another one, BAM! Level 3. Wingspan Shepard looking hot. Just checking out the, um, the new skill trees here. It looks like, for the most part, these are very similar to Mass Effect 2, so I guess they, they didn't go through a lot of their budget to come up with this. Now, I see here, you got the first three ranks. Pretty much mandatory, like taking hose money. That's another story. Then ranks four, five, and six, you kind of have to split here between uh, upper track and lower track. I guess you could choose different tracks each time. And of course, just like Mass Effect 2, the higher ranks one, like the rank six upgrade costs six rank points, whereas the rank one upgrade costs one. So it's like, is it better to have one point in every ability than have a single ability at level six? My guess is yes. I'm just going to guess that. Uh, Okay, I see. You... Oh, I see. This is not purchased yet. So at the first point, I get 15% health and shield bonus, 15% melee bonus. That sounds pretty good. Alright, and next point, diminishing returns much? You only get 10% next thing? Hello, Denubinator. How you doing? Here we got Biotic Charge. Biotic Charge! I don't know. I, I can't hear this now. I know that this came first in Mass Effect 2, but I can't hear Biotic Charge and not think Bionic Arm from Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Um, not that I really love that game or anything, but, you know, that just, that, that whole, that, wow, that was just hilarious. Bionic arm, alright, and, and of course you go charging into them just like fucking bionic arms, so. I think there was collaboration between Capcom and, uh, and Bioware on this. Now, let's see here, what do these things do? 
All right. I just want to see what the abilities actually do before I start dropping my points in. Oh my god, look at that. That's so cute. They have a little guy on fire in the second one. Oh my god, that's absolutely hilarious. So some graphic designer out there was like, they're like, okay, we need a second one to show the, the better incendiary ammo. And the graphic designer's like, can I please put a little man on fire in the icon? And the creative director looked at him and said, you sure as fuck can. And then that's what happened. They just dropped him in there. All right. Here, we increase our reputation, our weight capacity. This stuff actually sounds kind of good. I just don't know, should I get this? I mean, it's, it's the demo. I'm not going to be carrying what weight capacity. I'm not going to be, I guess, they, did they add weight capacity back in this game? I think, actually, yeah, now that I, I think about it from seeing the multiplayer, that uh, they made it so that it's not that you, you have an inventory with weight capacity. I mean, you kind of do, but it's just that carrying heavier weapons uh, past your limit will slow you down, that kind of thing. Kind of interesting. They kind of put a little bit more role playing back into this. A lot of people were upset that they took the oh-so-fun inventory management out of, uh, out of Mass Effect, from Mass Effect 1 to Mass Effect 2. And now they added weight capacity back in um, for whatever reason. Got 12 points left. Pull is useful sometimes. I guess we could take the fitness. We could always use more health. Especially when you're using um, Biotic Charge! When you're using Biotic Charge, it's good. You're going to end up right in your enemy's faces. You want to have as much health and shields and stuff like that as possible. Um, I guess you can be meleeing some fools. Three points. God damn, I only have ten points left. I know, I love how I'm taking this so seriously, even though it's a demo. Like, I just want, I want to, I want to min-max this. This is new ability, Nova. Transfer the energy of your Biotic Barrier to Charge and spark this deadly blast. It looks like a Hadouken to me, so... So what's this? You give up your shield, your biotic barrier, and to charge... Is it to charge and spark this biotic blast? So when I use it, will I charge, like a biotic charge, and then blast? Or am I going to charge up something and blast it? I feel like we need some kind of like delineating syntactical comma here to give me a little bit more context. Alright? Is it to charge... And then fire, or is it to charge and fire? It, is it, I don't know what kind of charge. A am I whipping out my Amex again and charging something? So Bioware, let me know which charge is this. Charge forward, charge up something, or, you know, buy something on credit. I see Garrus. Yeah, his scars are looking pretty good. He's got that sexy scar thing going on now. We all know by now the Overload is a great skill. Takes away shields. It, um, it breaks... All of your opponent's iPods on use. When you use this on them, it just fries their iPods. It destroys their entire music collection. Highly demoralizing. So, I definitely suggest you bring um, Overload. Turian Rebel, Every N all the NPC characters kind of have their, um, their, like, their racial traits. So, the, the trait of being a Turian is your Rebel. They actually have no government on their planet. Everyone's a Rebel. Um, that whole awkward teenager thing where you hate your parents uh, just lasts forever. So they're just, you know, like, Government, I don't have to listen to what you say. You can't feel what I'm feeling. And then they take out a sniper rifle and go become bounty hunters. That's just Turian society. And I had two more points, so I figured I'd just drop into armor-piercing ammo. Liara, 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 look at you, you little sex pot. I mean, actually, I never found Liara uh, attractive. She's just too, I don't want to say innocent, but yeah, just look at her. She looks kind of like, you know, from the head up. I mean, she just looks like the kind of girl who should be, like, playing a tuba, and you just got to wait for her to, like, go to college and, and kind of chill out a little bit. Um, not, not, you know, nice girl. On the side, I, don't, I just didn't want to, like, I didn't want to be the one to, like, ruin her, um, her innocence, right? And I know she's, like, 200 years old or something like that, but I just feel, like, kind of bad trying to seduce Liara. Like, I feel like I'd be like, hey, Liara, maybe we should... And then Chris Hansen's going to come out wherever the future version of Chris Hansen is going to come out. Chris Tucker, a little bit more flamboyant, also a little more entertaining. Um, but someone was going to pop out and be like, you know, uh, on our planet... Liara is totally considered to be a minor, and you're going to space jail, where you get space raped. Um, not funny, not fun, nothing about it is interesting. So I didn't want that to do that to Liara, and I didn't want anyone to do anything to me. Um, so there we go, we'll give her stasis. Sounds pretty cool. Sounds like we could just jail an enemy up. Warp ammo, always cool. Actual warp cool, but 
I kind of want to just play around with stasis now. New ability. Um, we got four more points. Look at this. So we might as well. It only works on lifted targets. Does that work on singularity? Is it like if I use singularity? All right, singularity, warp ammo. All right, I got my abilities. Um, I guess guess we're all set. I guess we're all ready to uh, to go on this mission, get the females, um, check out what these hot Salarian females look like, and uh, see what they can do for us.